Hello everyone, I'm Jill and I'm here to talk to you about some new amazing books at Guilford Public Library. So who here is an Avatar fan, Last Airbender? Me. So I would love to show you this new book, Avatar The Last Airbender. This is the second one in the series. The Promise is the first one, um, but this one answers the big question that everyone was wanting to know after the TV show Book 3, Fire, left with, and it is what happened to Fire Lord Zuko's mom. Oh my goodness, she disappeared when he was a young age, and everyone wants to know what happened to her. So in this one, he is in search to find her with the help of Team Avatar, Aang, Katara, Toph, and we can't forget Zuko. They all come together in trying to find his mother. Unfortunately, they do have to trust Azula, who is Zuko's uh, sister, and she unfortunately becomes insane with the problems that she has and what happened in book three, Fire. So, will she help them? Is she going to give them the right information? And what will happen when they do find her, or if they find her? You'll have to find out in this graphic novel. So, on to the next one. We have Lily to the rescue, Dog Dog Goose. Who here is a fan of animals? I love animals and I would love to talk to you about this one. The main character, Lily, she is a rescue dog and her owner, Maggie, and her mother own a animal shelter. And so Lily finds herself wanting to help and what's her purpose? So she finds a gaggle of little geese and the geese think she's the mom. And so she's wondering, how am I going to help these little geese? And what will she do? So you'll have to find out in this one, which also is a series. So definitely keep that in mind. So let's move on to the next one. I would love to discuss this one. Who here likes mysteries? I do. So I'm hoping others do too. Maggie Morton, Mystery Queen, The Body Under the Piano. That is an intense title, but it is set in 1902, England, the seaside, and the main character, Aggie, uh, she is 12 years old and has uh, her friend Hector find out what happened to this case, what happened to the body, like and so on a, anyway, she definitely finds herself in a little pickle because a lot of people don't think a 12 year old should be helping in a murder case. But this young couple, they really do help each other and they help a lot of the police officers and detectives trying to figure out what happened. And so you'll have to read this one. So the next book that I would like to tell you about is A Game of Fox and Squirrels. Now this one is kind of mysterious a little bit, but it's more magical in reality. They blur together. So why don't we start with the main character, Sam Littlefield, and her older sister, Caitlin. They end up moving um, to live in Oregon with their Aunt Vicky. Now, Aunt Vicky, she gives Sam a very mysterious game, and it's called A Game of Fox and Squirrels. And on one mysterious day, she gets introduced to the fox. And this fox asks her if she wants to go on a quest filled with adventure. And of course, she loves the game and ends up going. But this fox, he is very tricky and he is hiding some of the rules of this game. So will she make a wrong turn? Will she take a chance? And what will happen? 
and will this sly fox get away with it? So, you'll have to find out in this book. So, let's talk about the next book. Um, this one is a little bit of a heavier read, and when I mean heavier, it does discuss cyberbullying, um, and that is a very sensitive topic. So, if you feel like you cannot read it, please don't, but it is a very um, uh, open mind or opening your eyes to this. So it is called Friend Me, and this one is a thriller as well, and the main character, Rosen, she moves from Ireland to Massachusetts. Now that is a big jump, um, and to find new friends and it becomes really difficult for her. And unfortunately, she starts getting bullied by Zara um, on Facebook, on any kind of social media, and in school. And she becomes really alone, and she tries to find a friend. Well, she finds a friend, Haley, online that she's never met, but they talk to each other on how it would be without Zara, how easy life would be. Now, unfortunately, Zara has a terrible accident, and the main character, Rosen, she starts to get a little anxiety and tense. She's like, oh my gosh, what if we get in trouble? And Haley, unfortunately, isn't who she says she is. She kind of just leaves without a trace, and she tries to meet up with Haley. She can't find her. And so this mystery, it comes in thrills with, you know, finding out who really Haley is and is she her friend? Also, what happens to Zara? Are they going to be figuring out? Are they going to investigate and find some kind of connection? You'll have to find out in this twist of a book. Hello, fourth grade, Miss Maria here with Guilford Public Library to share some um, new books for you to read. I have some great picks, and I'm going to start with the first one that I truly enjoyed. It is called Stick With Me, Friends Forever or For Never, and this was by Jennifer Blecker. Wow, this is a great book. I like it because it's for fans of realistic fiction. Um, I tend to lean towards historical fiction, but um, I also love realistic fiction. And you may ask, well, what makes it this book real? Well, it has a lot of things that you may be going through, like maybe some friendship issues, um, mean girls or boys, um, money problems at home, maybe that you guys can't get everything that you want to because money's tight, or um, having a sibling that may get treated a little bit better. This one is a little bit different in terms of a sibling that you think might be getting treated better. This one is um, one of the girls has a sibling that's sick and um, therefore gets a little bit more attention. And so it begins with <coughs> um, a little girl named Izzy. And Izzy is really quirky and she's lots of fun, but she's different. And that's never been a problem until now where um, she's in middle school and her best friend no longer finds her um, awesome and she is hanging out more and more with the mean girl in school and um, that mean girl's being a bully and you know Izzy is just kind of dealing with it but she's also feeling a little bit hurt because her friend Daphne her best friend is kind of pulling away and to make matters worse to, to have a few extra dollars her family decides to rent their house so they decide to move out of their house and go into the, the small apartment above the garage and that takes away um, Izzy's bedroom where she creates art she's an artist and that's where she creates her art in her bedroom and so now she no longer has access to the bedroom and she's having trouble with her friends and now um, this new girl comes in the, the family that's renting um, her home and she's staying in her room and she now is forced to go to camp with her to theater camp now flip side it also tells the story of Ren that girl who is renting 
um, the house from Izzy's family. And Ren is also having a hard time because a little different. Well, she loves to ice skate. And she all she thinks about is making it to finals and auditioning and just um, working really hard on her craft. But she no longer can do that right now because her little sister gets an opportunity to get um, a very needed surgery in Boston. And so her family takes her takes all of them to live um, near the hospital and they rent this apartment. And that's where the lives of Izzy and Ren intertwine. And you know, Izzy just wants to skate, but instead her parents put her into the summer camp with Izzy and that's where they learn to um, they learn that they have a lot in common and they also learn um, a lot about friendship. I really think that you will enjoy this book. Again, this is called Stick With Me, Friends Forever or Friends For Never by Jennifer Blecker. My next book is called The Nightmare Thief and this one is by Nicole Lesperin. I think you can see that there. And this is a perfect book for fans of fantasy. So think perfect for those if you love magic and sisterhood with a touch of danger, you're going to really love this book. So I'm going to describe what the jacket says here. And it's about a, a girl named Marin Partridge. And she loves working in her family's dream shop. And this is where she can handcraft any dream imaginable. Well, how's that done? Well, think dragonfly wings and tree pollen for flying dreams, goose down and um, nutmeg for calming dreams, um, cemetery dirt and spider eggs for nightmares. Oh, I don't want any of those. And all of a dash of her family's dream magic. So the shop has only one rule, which is you can create any dream you want, but it has to come with permission for the person who's receiving the dreams. Well, Morin um, violates that rule when her sister gets in an accident and she goes in a coma. And so she tries to wake her up and insert um, some, gives her one of her dreams that she thinks is going to rouse her from it. And um, the problem is that she thinks that nobody is watching, but somebody was watching. Someone's actually been following her um for a while and that's like a new customer and um now the stranger tries to blackmail her because she knows that she violated one of the rules and she's blackmailing her by asking her to make um nightmares this this is a little creepy a little fantasy um a lot of magic um i think if you love any of those things you're gonna love this book and that is called the nightmare thief my next pick is called The Sea in Winter, and this one's by Christine Day. This is about a girl named Maisie Cannon, and she is having a really hard time. She's having a really hard time. She, You see, she's, a, <coughs> she's into ballet, and she had a serious knee injury that she's recovering from, and she's having tons of physical pain it's been long 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 time since she's um, been able to do what she loves and she's just having a difficult time and it's not just physically emotionally she's going through a hard time and she's going through such a hard time that she becomes cranky pants to all those around her that love her um, like her little brother and her mom and her friends she's not texting back her friends she's not picking up the phone and she's just having like an extremely <coughs> hard time because she is not okay. Now, um, what's really, really nice about this book is that this book talks about how her family pulls through for her. They end up going on a midwinter vacation. This is where the sea in winter come in into the town that her mom was from. And there they show a lot of um, some of the histories of Native Americans which is really of American, Native American heritage. And it shows how a lot of the customs and just a great family bond that helps 
save her and bring her back to feeling a lot more like herself. A really endearing book. Um, I really enjoyed it. I think you will too. This one's called The Sea in Winter by Christine Day. All right, my next pick is something that I think you're really, really going to like because um, it may seem like a scene from a super science fiction movie. It's about um, a kid. His name is Jet, and his dad is the world's most famous tech billionaire. And what happens with Jet is that he gets sent to a technology-free retreat. And it seems like it's in the middle of nowhere in Arkansas. And he is like, what is going on? So not only is he tech free, but it's also veg a vegetarian place. And here he needs to learn how to deal with not having any electronics and making new friendships. And he, he's like, oh my gosh, this is totally not happening. And he is, when I say a big brat, he is a huge brat. But I think a lot of that starts to change and one of one way that it starts to change his personality is that they find a lizard and they name it um what do they name it here i completely forgot what they named it here um i want to say it was needles yes they named it needles and they keep it as a secret pet and because of that they start to form some amazing um adventures and amazing friendships and they start solving some mysteries that are around like um, what happens if they set up a um, secret candy shop. <laughs> Remember, it's vegetarian, it's supposed to be very healthy. So what will happen if they set, set up like a candy black market there? So I think you will enjoy this. This one's called Unplugged by Gordon Corman. The last book that I will go into detail is one that I am very, very excited about. Um, if you remember, I said that my biggest or my favorite types of books are historical fiction. This one is fantastic. And it doesn't read like your typical historical fiction only because it is in the graphic novel world. Yes, look at that. There is excitement right from the beginning. And this one is one of the I Survived books. It's my newest one at the library called The Nazi Invasion 1944. And, I mean, look how exciting this is made. This says, kaboom! And there seems to be some type of explosion there. And someone's laying on the bottom. Am I alive? I'm alive, but alone. Then the world comes crashing down. Cackle, crack! crack it is very exciting it's 1944 there's been a few years since um, the Nazis have invaded this is a story about Max and his sister Zena um, their father was taken away two months prior and they have been trying to survive in the in the, their homes in the ghetto which that's where they were forced to live in and really they were starving and in starvation mode he found some berries and when he went to go pick some he was caught by one of the soldiers and the soldiers um like cracked him over the head with one of his rifles and before he got arrested him and his sister ran into the forest and there they were rescued um by some people who opposed the war and they, their story is about their survival. Like, did they survive this? And when I say is exhilarating, is an understatement. I really enjoyed this book. I think you will too. The pictures um, are really detailed and it has a lot of actions. I do not recommend this book. If you, if your adult doesn't like you to see some bloody things, it doesn't have tons of bloody things in it. Um, but it, it is a sensitive topic. So if you, if this is a, a, for a more mature reader, so if that is not something that your grown up would like you to read, I would definitely, um, ask your teacher for another recommendation. Okay. Um, and lastly, if you like graphic novels, I also have a new goosebumps and I know that those are super popular at the library. I wanted to share that with you. And for those of you who love the Who Was books or Who Is books, this is my newest one. 
who is Kamala Harris. And those are my picks for today. Uh, just remember that the library is open for you to come in and borrow books. If um, you want to run in and come and grab some of these, these are going to be in the children's room. All on top of the blue shelves will have them um, nicely displayed for you. If you want, you can call and reserve them before you come in. You just give us a call at 524-6042. You tell us who you are. If you have a library card, we will reserve those books for you. And all you have to do is either call us when you're outside, we'll run the books to you, or come on in quickly. Um, and that's it. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I can't wait to see you in person soon.